Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Crafting Bookworm. It is time for Bible Verses 2024 Challenge Update Video. Okay, welcome back everybody. Welcome to the, my new subscribers. Um, thanks to all of you, whether you're here for books or you're here for crafts, I appreciate um, your support. So, we're going to go over the ones that I did not do on camera. Now, we, we ended up with this one. This was the last one we did. This was the craft with me. And it's just a book page tag and we've got... Um, butterfly here and then there's our bible verse yeah so that was day 17 that was the 25th of february so everything i've done after that till now um we will have on here now the bible verses 2024 challenge was started on instagram by trail crafts which is trail underscore crafts and she started this kind of a challenge for herself and you know several people jumped on and it was for the month of February, but I'm still going because I really enjoy making them and I want to eventually have a journal to put all of these in. So I'm still trucking along. So now I'm going to show you these ones that I did after that one until now. So first we've got another one of these book page pockets and this just flips up right here. And I don't have anything in the pockets. You know, I didn't in the other one, or in one of them I did. But I will make sure this is all filled when I put it into the journal. But they're just so easy to make and so fun. And these started with Kim Newberg. She's the one that um, <clears throat> inspired me to do so, to make this. So um, this says, Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you at the proper time. First Peter 5, 6. And like I said, this is just a book page. But, you know, I'm going to attach this right to the page. So it's just going to do this and it's just going to flip open. But you could cover this entire back and just stick it in a pocket. Or you could make it an altered paper clip and slide it onto a page. Anything you could do with this. Um, I'm just going to stick it down like this on a page. But yeah, they're really fun to make, easy to make. They get very sturdy um, because of, you know, the cardstock that's used on the book page. So... Yeah, very easy to do. The next one we got here. Um, we got these out of order somehow. I'm missing one. Mm -hmm. Unless I dated it. Or maybe I missed a day. I think I missed a day because this goes from the 27th to the 29th. So this was the 29th. It says day 19 though. That's day 18. Yeah, I missed a day. So this was my 19th day of doing this. So we made this envelope. We've got this little closure here and I put a little piece of bling on there. Um, this, I don't know how I'm going to attach it, whether I'm going to just leave it like this or I'm going to alter paper clip or whatever, but However I do it is fine because it's an envelope. And I made the envelope too. And then inside the envelope is this. This is an acetate window. And this right here was all um, inked up. And this one says, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 73, 26. Isn't that just so cute how that just, the acetate window. Um, I'm not very good at cutting things out. So it's, it's a little etchy, but I think it's super cute. And it looks really cute in this envelope. Okay. The next one here is another envelope. This was the first day 20. We got this little lace envelope. We got this butterfly on there. Um, oh, and also, you guys, all this stuff I post on Instagram, and that's at Bookworms Buddy. So if you guys want to look me up on Instagram and stay updated on all these, you can do so. Um, 
the card comes out and it's a matching card to the envelope and it says whatever you do do everything for the glory of God first Corinthians 10 31 now I use some hymnal page here underneath this I use the same pattern as the envelope and it's a journal card that can be wrote on and then I turn it around just to give that window more than just a white background to look at so and there's the lace window very fun to make um, I learned really first was inspired by these from uh, my porch prints because she has a journal where she uses a lot of lace like in the pages and then on the cover so I said I want to do one on an envelope so there it is okay the next one we got here this one is another tag I'm, I'm trying to do the tag so I have places to put them pockets I can just make and stick in the journal I'm gonna need tags for sure but this is tag that I learned or is inspired to make by Jules designs on um, YouTube that's J O O L S design um, and I thought that is just so incredibly cool now mine didn't turn out as good as hers did because um, I've got too much of a cut here for one if you can see there's too much of a cut there but what happens is this goes up like this this opens and this is writing space in here and it's just really ingenious you know if, if you think about it because you can put you know a pocket in there or just use it for writing I just decided to leave it for writing but I thought it was a really cool idea it wasn't too hard to do Ooh, excuse me we have a pocket here and then this of course and then the Bible verse here is blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is Jeremiah 17 7 that was day 21 and then the final one that I did last night is this I ordered some glassine paper and I, I, I've been adding a couple sheets into journals and then putting stickers and stuff on them which is make it's a really cool effect um, so I decided hey I've got some scraps of this let's make a glassine bag so that's what I did and this glassine bag will serve as a pocket um, here is our Bible verse submit yourselves therefore to God resist the devil and he will flee from you James 4 7 and then this little card comes out also that has butterflies on it all different butterflies on it and then of course that can be journaled on but yeah I thought that turned out really cute um, I also can print on this paper because I have already printed on the glassing paper so I thinking what I'll do is I will print like just some background images on here on on this paper and then make them out of whatever I decide so if I have a theme journal I can print on the glass scene and then make the bag and it'll have that that theme on the bag so yeah it's really fun to make very easy um, very thin you know because it is glassine paper so yeah, I really enjoyed doing that one. If you guys would like to see a tutorial on this, just let me know in the comments below. So now today, I figured that I want to make another tag. I've got lots of envelopes. I've only got like two tags. So I want to make a tag. So that is what I'm going to do. Hey, where'd the, oh, there it is. I gotta like to keep these in order. Oops, you go next. Okay, there we go. Guys, I had a pause for the cause. I'm back now. We're gonna do our craft for Bible Verses 2024 challenge. <clears throat> so I got a couple pieces of book page here. And what I'm going to do is, we're going to make a tag with a specimen window, specimen slide window. So 
So we're going to fold these in half. The one I wanted to do had the specimen window all the way through, so you could see all the way through it. And there was butterflies on there. What well, if you put in butterflies on there, the back side is the faded side. And I didn't have, I didn't want to try to match up butterflies and make them visible on both sides. So we're only going to have the acetate window in the front. We're going to glue these, both these pages together. You can use whatever glue you have, glue stick. Oh, we got a little bit of a plug there. It was up here. There we go. Um, so anyway, you can use like uh, glue stick if you like glue stick or <clears throat> art glitter glue, whatever one you want to use. I'm using Fabri-Tac because I don't trust my glue stick to, you know, keep it sealed forever. So we're just going to use our fabric tack. We're going to go down the sides and do a little in the middle. Okay. Oh, a little bit of that squishing out the top. Okay, so now make sure these are the same. Oh, yeah, wow, how that was lucky. I must have cut them the same. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to cut off our two top corner pieces. Other side. Okay, so there's that. I think I got those two slanted. So I don't like it to be that much of a point. So we're gonna cut that top part off there. Okay, much better. All right. I need a drink of my tea. I got this celestial herbal tea. It is raspberry. It is very good. All right. The next thing we need the next thing we need to do is we need to cut a window in one of these. So, I want to decide if I want a pocket on here, so we're going to go up to, let's say here. That's the one great thing about working with book pages. You can use your lines as your ruler. <laughs> and then from here, um, let's see. That should be big enough, I think. Okay. And then the sides. How much side do we want on here? So that will be good. Yeah, I'm eyeballing all of it, you guys. And it may be a little off. You never know. Okay. Well, that's going to be my window. So now we're going to cut it out. I've been using a lot of my book pages up, which is always good. everybody is having an amazing day today. I'm talking like it's a brand new day. 
the same day. I can't line this up. It's going too far. Can you show up just a little bit? There we go. Okay, on this side. I'm actually waiting on an Amazon order. I really hate how Amazon changes their times of delivery. And what I ordered is actually for a project I am working on. And it's not here yet. And I can't sew my signature in until I get this product. This I can keep for a journal card. because We're going to put a pocket on here. Okay, I need to have some acetate. Okay, so we got this little square of acetate. It's got something on it right there. That'll be okay though. Okay, so we'll just keep, let's see, this and this. This is how this is fitting on here. Yes. So let's go this way. Okay, so let's put our acetate on. I think I'm just going to glue it and then just cut the edges off. That's just probably going to be easier. Or, you know what, I think I'm going to actually use, um, it actually works better that way. So, I'm actually going to use, oh, tape. I got some right here. And I'm going to go ahead and tape this up, and then I'll come back as soon as I get it taped. Okay, so we got it taped up. So let's peel that off. I mean, you can use glue, too. Um, I've done both. I just like the ease of tape. There might be a little bit more work there because you know you're you got to put the tape all on and then peel everything off but really in the long run you don't get the gushies from the glue showing through or you know all those things so we've little tape things here okay we decided we're going to go this way So, we've got a little bit of sticky there, but that's okay, because this is going to be glued together anyway. Okay, so now we're just going to cut off. Acetate. Nope, not the. Okay, there we go. Now, on here, we are going to do some butterflies. Let's see. I think I want two. I want these two, but. I feel like I've done a lot of orange and stuff for this journal. Let me see what these look like in here. We, we're going to have two. I'm going to have a larger one. Oh, we're going to have to go on here because that'll show it the back way if we do it that way. So, um, do I want to also put background on here because I have this piece of scrap 
I wonder if I want, I know I'm going to use some for the pocket, but I kind of like it just on the, just on this. Okay, so we got to make sure that we are in the right place for this. And are we, are we turned around? Are we in the right? Yes. Okay. So, come here, butterfly. I kind of think this one might be a little big for the... Yeah, I think that one's a little too big. How about this one? This one's better. And then a smaller one. A smaller one there. Let's see if those fit in the window. They do, but this one needs to come this way a little bit. Am I in frame, you guys? Yeah, a little bit in frame. Okay, I think that will work. Okay. So let's get this one first. Let's move these. We want them on the inside. I need a pin here to... I hope this doesn't give me a hard time today. Trying to get this off of here. Come on. There we go. So we're going to be pretty close to that one. Hopefully that's just in a good place. Yes, and that one is in a good place there. Hmm, that seems, might be my Amazon order. I can't see, though. I hear the backup. It would be nice if it got here before 5.30. It would be nice if I could get this. There we go. Okay, we want to see where we... Where we were going with this. Okay. That should be good. It is good. Okay. So now I want to erase my pencil marks. We don't want the pencil marks. That's for not quite cutting on the direct line, but you know what? It turned out just fine. Okay, let's pick my little plastics up here. Okay, so now this is going to get glued onto the back one. Like so. I want to take a little bit of um, ink here. I just got this one and it's such a pretty color. Give me something here to... Just add a little bit of... Just add a little bit of color around here. I want to add anything else. I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough. Okay, so now we are going to glue. Hopefully this is going to cooperate. We're going to go up the side, the top, here. I would have used um, 
my Fabri-Tac for this, but it's too gushy. I hope it's not on the inside. Do a little bit of trimming up there, I think. Oh, maybe not. It got into the right spot. And there's the tag portion, you guys. So now we're going to um, do some inking on the outside. Drink a tea. We're just going to ink all the way around this. At first I thought I wanted the background, you know, behind the butterflies, but then I changed my mind. And now I'm just doing the pocket. And I'm hoping that it's going to look all right. And then we got to figure out where we're going to put our scripture or our Bible verse. This book page is from a Sherlock Holmes book, by the way. Okay, and I really like it because it's it's a heavier paper, but it's it's double rowed also and so it gives me these wider tags this one is a little more than two and a half it's almost two and three quarters okay so now we got this little pocket I want to put on is it gonna look okay well let's go like this Gonna have the pocket scooted up a little bit, I think. And I think we're gonna stay even with the do we want to stay even with the window or all the way across? My mind is telling me the window. The decisions, you guys. Ugh, I hate it. Okay, so we're gonna go with the window. And we're gonna cut that. Again. there he's in my video quit recording and I don't know why it quit recording so I lost all that but here it is finished um, I think the last part you see is this sitting on here so yeah that uh, that was just troublesome but um, yeah there's our, our craft for uh, our Bible verses 2024. Um, let me know if you followed along down in the comments below. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.